And the one thing that he has been consistently leading the pack about has been the education and the care and the welfare of our children. And so, again, it is my great pleasure and honor to introduce to you a man who comes to this conference honestly because of the issues that he's faced in his community, in his own life, and, and in the State Senate of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Please welcome Senator Anthony Hardy Williams. God bless you all for being here this morning. Um, and I, you all are in the middle of um, really critical information, so I'm not going to be long. I did want to thank you all for coming out and participating today in a conference. And I want to be very clear. The conference now has a name because of the group I work with, uh, Grant's parents. And they actually, along with my grandmother who did this work a long time, deserve the credit for folks like myself understanding the consequences. So for those Brown is in the back and some other people who are part of the organization are part here, let us tip our hat and give a, a round of applause to the, the, the grandfather and grandmother. The conference is, very, this, this discussion, or we've decided to call it a conference, but this conference is designed very simply, and it's a very simple intention. We don't want anyone who is in your set of circumstances to be alone. We recognize that the government is cutting back, that the resources aren't as grand as they used to be, but there still are resources and there are still people you can reach. You don't have to travel this journey by yourself and understand something. When I was a, when I was a child, a grandparent was probably, you know, a certain age, had gray hair like me and looked a certain way. Now grandparents come at 32 years old, okay? Uh, and, and clearly, they need to understand that there's somebody there to support them because frankly, they're probably raising a child that the child can't raise, and you are raising it in some really, really tough economic set of circumstances. And so, and they cover a broad array. I want you to understand something. We have a piece of legislation in Harrisburg we're working on, and it is very challenging because the government and the governor always tell us we don't have, we don't have enough money for new programs. We're trying to persuade them to understand that if they create this piece of legislation, they create grants as parents, which will give Counseling to a certain department will also give grants for development for intergenerational housing. That means grandchildren can now live with grandparents legally. Uh, it will allow for you not to have to adopt your grandchild, but there will be financial support to go along with it. Our position is it will save the government money. Because rather than requiring them to go through a lengthy adoption process or placing them in foster care, they actually can transition to a community and a home which you're probably used to being in anyway. And the cost and savings of that will be great for, to the Commonwealth as compared to what we're currently spending. This conversation today goes well beyond that legislation. And so the people who are participating, the people who are volunteered to give their time to share information, those who have helped organize this, um, I, I want to tell you from the bottom of my heart that every day that I walk this earth, that every day I, give the, I get the privilege to serve the public, every day I remember my grandmothers, both, who didn't have the position of power, didn't have a title, didn't have anything other than love and concern for their grandchildren and did this work without any support. And it was hard. It was hard. And so I understand what you're going through, and I can't promise you I can fix every problem, but I'm going to tell you you're not going to be by yourself trying to fix it. And I'm going to make sure that other people who hold these offices understand this is not simply one population. This issue is national in scope. Philadelphia has a huge population of grandparents who are now taking, uh, uh, taking care of grandchildren for a variety of reasons. It is not an issue that you have to sit by yourself or be ashamed of. It is a problem that, and by the way, you are shocked at the people that you will discover in these categories. They don't all sit there. And, there's no stereotype, black, white, you know, modest or low income. There's no stereotype. There's a lot of people who are now raising grandchildren across a broad span. What we just need to do is organize ourselves collectively, now at this conference, even beyond, to make sure that Harrisburg and City Hall and Congress begins to recognize the plight of America, the plight of Pennsylvania, and the, and the plight of Philadelphians. And you're a part of that. I hope you'll travel this journey with me. Hopefully we can service some of you as I walk through the door. There's some of you who literally grabbed me and told me about some of the things that are going on in your life. I hope that we will direct you to the appropriate services. If we don't get the answer right today, don't think that you're by yourself. We will continue that journey with you. God bless you, and hopefully you'll continue safe passage.